Sorry, I was just admiring this wonderful view. It is really great to be back. Where'd I go? Well, I had to head back to the Yukon to take, take care of a few things, settle up some business with the 316 mining guys, and we are back. So, it's been a couple weeks. Got the truck cleaned up a little bit, so it's starting to get all banged up. I uh, brought the trailer over, and you may notice a few differences. Um, I got it switched over to a gooseneck, because that bumper pull was just uh, not working with the heavy loads I was putting on it, and I was tired of doing the fiddling with the front loader to get, it, to get the tractor to go up, so I had them uh, weld on some ramps and also a little uh, trailer attacher if I want to get crazy and go something behind this long thing. So that should make life a bit easier, a bit faster. So I'm going to head back over to my land. And I took up a job with Mike. He offered um, asked me, I guess, to fertilize one of the fields that I seeded for him. So they give me, I think he said six, seven thousand dollars for that. So I couldn't say no to that. So we're gonna head back, and I'll kind of show you a little bit of cleaning up I did, and then we'll get the tractor, and the fertilizer, spreader, and I think I have a few bags of fertilizer left. I may have to swing back by the shop and grab some more fertilizer on our way down. So, I'm going to get that done, and we'll see you back over at my plot. I wonder if that train has still got it out for me. Let's find out. I'm pulling through town. Things like that gooseneck makes maneuverability a lot easier. I was I was really struggling with that uh, bumper attachment and I kept turning too soon and couldn't make turns because it was dragging down on the wheels and yeah this is gonna be much better. Hey look at that, no train. Whoa. Turned a little too tight there. Alright, and we're back. So as you can see, kind of park some of the stuff up over by those trees. Move the seed and the fertilizer and our fuel barrels off to the side, tidy things up a little bit. So uh, let me lower these ramps. That should have done it. Let me just check. Yes, much better. Yeah, that'll make loading much easier. All right, so let me get these fertilizer bags over to the spreader. Get this filled up. All right, this is the last fertilizer bag that I've got. I'll get this in and we'll check. I don't think it's probably going to be, I don't think it'll make it any dent at all, but we'll see. I see a little bit filling up there. Ah, not too bad. All right, so now we will get tractor. And I'll need this weight. So now, I actually should be able to back in and drop this weight off at the back. I don't need it when I need to pick up the fertilizer bag. 
to fill up the spreader. I'm gonna get all this loaded up and then we will head over to the shop to get a little bit more fertilizer and then down to Mike's. And hopefully I do get a good, you know, six, 7,000 like he'd, he'd uh, suggested. I'm down to uh, just around 9,000 left um, with the, well, it was about fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800 for the adjustment for the trailer and then some you know gas and food expenses on the road and drop that Oop, down good um, yeah like I said uh, all the expenses over the last couple days have taken a bit of toll in my bank account so I definitely need that seven grand uh, I also forgot I I had to take it over to uh, Parker Supply, oddly enough. Um, I brought a tent back with me from the Yukon. One of the guys was sleeping in an old tent and he had uh, built a little hut for himself. Got tired of the sleeping bag life, so I have his sleeping bag and it needed a few uh, repairs and stuff to the zippers and he needed a new fly, so uh, tractor supply had the stuff. So they are uh, thankfully uh, fixing that for me. We'll get that brought over too at some point today before the evening. Alright, let me go get the fertilizer spreader and then we'll meet you probably back at the store. We are back at the shop, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and get one big bag of fertilizer. Um, it's going to knock me down about $3,000, but I'm going to need it. Uh, I don't think it's going to go bad anytime soon, so um, we'll consider it a little investment in the future and bite the bullet. I'm gonna go in, get that deal done, and then get it, the fertilizer loaded up. And then we will go and fertilize Mike's field. Just playing a little musical implements here so that I can get the weight back on this tractor. We'll just get backed up here. Hopefully not drive off the edge of the trailer. And get this weight put back on so we can actually pick up this big bag, which did set me back $3,000. That's a racket, I tell you. a little bit more balance right in the middle we will get the spreader filled up hopefully that'll take some of this weight off not too much it seems all right we will get this fertilizer put on the trailer 
and then the spreader, and then we will get to Mike. And get that weight off. And now the spreader, and we'll be good to go. remember the PTO this time. like it's been a while but we are here so we need to do field number one which is this field here we'll come over here get off the road a little bit should be good right there uh, a little bit further I forget this trailer is very long That's looking good. Little, maybe some weeds out there, but um, maybe I'll need to see if I can find a little hand weeder or something and help him out. He hasn't said anything about the weeds, but I imagine if we don't take care of those, they're going to start spreading. All right, let's. Oh, I forgot to unfold those ramps. Oops. There we go. Okay. So we should be able to do a pretty good amount, I think, with what we've got. And then we'll just turn it on and go. And it actually turned on first time that time. Okay, we're doing all right. Well, I'm going to get this done. And I will see you giving an update if I... Anything happens or find anything interesting uh, otherwise I think it's gonna be a fairly straightforward job so we'll see when we're done all right we've got the headland done and I have to say I am really happy that I got this tractor when I was up in the Yukon, it is running like a dream. Got the nice open cab, so I get the nice cool breeze. Yeah, it's running really well now that Mike helped me get it uh, worked on. So, yeah, and this spreader too. Got pretty good width, spread width on that thing. All right, and it looks like we're doing about halfway on the fertilizer, so. We should be done in no time.
Well, that served me right. I forgot to check after my little break. And yes, the fertilizer spreader was empty. And I just ran all the way up this side. Ay. We'll get it filled up again. Wait a minute. I was about to say time to play musical tractors, but I bet Mike would let me borrow his uh, his front loader. Yeah, that'll be much easier. Let me drive over there and see if I can do that and grab the keys from him. beautifully. Mike was home and said it was no problem. And this should make my life easier as well. are convenient for storage they are a pain in the rear to lift up how heavy are those dang things all right we'll get this weight on this should definitely do it go and put those little arms down all right there we go that should definitely do it So we'll go ahead and put it back. Go ahead and put it back on the trailer. Drop the weight off and then go get this field finished. We're just getting down to the last little bit here. I get, oh, I missed that little bit. So this strip and a couple others to clean up and we'll be done. Not too bad if I don't say so myself. And oh, turn it off, we're wasting material here. All right, let's see, there was a Spot over here somewhere that I missed. There it is. I think that spot's probably okay. Get this little patch right here. And then 
there's the other strip I missed. And it's getting pretty late in the day, so I'm going to get this done to let Mike know that I'm done. And then I need to head over to Tractor Supply to see if they're hopefully done with my tent. I can have somewhere to sleep tonight. Oh, there's another little patch over here. Might as well get it. And uh, like I said, get the tent. And probably call it a day for today. Go relax, get some sleep. And, well, I don't know. I don't have anything lined up at the moment, so maybe I can come back over to Mike's and see if he's got anything or see if Mr. Wilkins has anything. Or I'm going to be bumming around, twiddling my thumbs. Well, I'm going to go over to Mike's, let him know we're done, and hope see what he's going to give us. He said seven grand. Uh, you know, that seems like quite a bit, but I guess considering I had to buy the fertilizer because he didn't have any, um, and he didn't. I think he's trying to teach me some lessons on farming finances here because he just said I need the field fertilized um, and I don't have fertilizer so get it done alright let's go let him know we're done alright 7500 I'll take it but considering I had to spend, oh, walking through bushes here, you know, 3,000 or whatever for that fertilizer, uh, it only comes out to, you know, basically 3,500, we'll call it. So, not too bad though. I will definitely take it. So we will get the tractor loaded up. Head over to tractor supply and hopefully have us ourselves a new tent that actually works Right, guys been a couple hours stopped by tractor supply got my tent fixed I also picked up a grill so it was about $750 or so for the repairs to the tent and the new grill so let's take a look at where I will be sleeping now there we go Got a tent and a lantern. Got all my stuff out. Haven't uh, figured out where I'm going to put it all because the tent is not the biggest. Nice little grill. Not too big, but it should do the job for me. Uh, and of course, the fire. Figured I'd base it out toward my field so I can uh, see my, my awesome work so far every morning I wake up. And I had mentioned I don't have anything lined up for jobs tomorrow um there was a uh, an interesting uh gentleman that i ran into at uh the store when i was picking up some meat and stuff uh his name was a fergus scott graham he was a scottish immigrant that's now a farmer uh, he hasn't been farming too long about year year and a half now coming up on two years so uh he's a, a little bit like me still new but uh he definitely has a lot of experience and he said that uh you know his father and grandfathers ran small farms over in scotland when he was a young boy so um he has a field that needs cultivating so we're going to hang out kick back and relax tonight have a burger and we will get to uh 
cultivating his field first thing in the morning. And then I'm going to need to also go over to Mr. Wilkins because he mentioned that he had a order of wood, uh, raw raw lumber, um, that he was going to use to split into firewood himself. And I uh, I had mentioned that I could chop some firewood for him. Uh, he said no, he didn't he didn't want that stuff that uh, I've been taking over to the like the uh, barbecue place and all that. He's got a fancy little pneumatic powered log splitter that he would uh, he, he paid and he wants to use it um, but uh, I could certainly help him do that and he would compensate me so we'll need to check with Mr. Wilkins to see if that uh, lumber order is ready and take that over to his house as well so I'm going to get this fire going have a nice evening and then we'll get to it first thing in the morning so I will tell you good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment with any feedback, and subscribe if you have not already, if you would like. Also, a huge, huge congratulations to Mighty Mike Farms. Um, I'm a bit behind, but it was about a week, week and a half ago, he finally hit a thousand subscribers. Congratulations, Mike. And uh, for any of my subscribers that are uh, also supporting him, huge thank you. If you haven't uh, checked him out, please do. Thank you so much for watching. Adios for now.